Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. As a part of this tutorial, we are still in chapter four talking about the automotive specific test techniques. And as a part of this, we are into the next segment. Uh, that is the second segment of this chapter. That is 4.2 dynamic test techniques. And this is the very last tutorial covering the second part of the 4.2.5 context dependent selection of test techniques. We have covered a lot of uh, theoretical understanding of this and don't forget this is a K3 topic so you may be asked to apply the same during the examination so you must have a good understanding of the same. Thus we are covering the last topic in much more detailed way that is what is the example of selection of a test technique. So here we will be discussing about an example. Let's have a look. So this section talks about a particular example of selection of a test technique based on several factors like you know we have spoken about what is dynamic testing and what specific techniques we can have like requirement based technique, uh, fault injection technique and uh, we have back to back testing plus of course we do have a lot of techniques from the foundation which we have covered in black box uh, and uh, white box of course. So here we are taking a template example of uh, how a decision can be made about making use of certain uh, techniques which we may have as a pool but of course some of them will only be selected to be applied at any point of time. So here the following table contains a list of test design techniques enhanced by an example of assessment of a tester with regards to several which we have previously discussed in our syllabus uh, like ACL and other factors and the selection of the test design finally based on the analysis. So if you look at this table precisely this is a typical example of how to make decision on making use of techniques for dynamic testing. Now very first is the test case design techniques which are listed here right from requirement based equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, statement testing, decision testing, MCDC, error guessing, fault injection, back-to-back -back testing and putting it all together it has a blend of everything like you know you talk about black box, you talk about white box, you talk about experience based testing and even automotive specific techniques. So everything put together is being listed here. The next column is talking about the recommended use of these techniques based on ACL level A which is definitely high, high at the consideration and ACL definitely stands for automotive safety integrity level. So yes, do, we do have uh, different methods uh, being recommended based on the integrity level of safety for automotives. Uh, the other one, next column is about test basis suitable. That means you have any availability of the test basis which might be required in order to derive the test cases for that technique. And uh, we have the recommendation for that. Also the next column talks about the risk if defect not detected. So what happens like if this uh, technique does not help you to detect a defect. So is there a risk involved in that or it should mandatorily look for a defect or not. So whether the probability of getting a risk or not is recommended here. Next the test level system test uh, is being considered for this. So we are actually trying to derive test cases for specific test level here which is system testing and we should look for the recommendation that which technique will be more uh, relevant for de designing test cases for system testing and finally the last column is about the selection which you finally make out of the entire analysis. So here the table goes uh, of course has vertical legends but it will be evaluated horizontally. For example the very first technique requirement based testing it is uh, highly recommended uh, based on the ESL level A and test basis is available as yes. Uh, risk if detect defect is not identified then yes uh, risk is also getting high here so we should find defects here and uh, the test level the system test reasonable yes it is and uh, the selection is actually made already based on the evaluation. So if you see here the first two techniques though it is uh, having some up and downs regarding their AC level and the risk involved in making use of that is uh, recommended and uh, the basis is also available and system test level it is recommended for that so you can make use of both of them. That is requirement based technique and equivalence partition. So the tester has actually selected these two techniques to be applied. But if you look on the other one which are not selected by the tester so you must know that on what basis did the tester judge that uh, you know we should not go for this. No matter there are a lot of techniques which are highly recommended as per ACL level like right from number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you see their recommendation level for ACL level A 
uh, statement testing is highly recommended, but others are just recommended. That is like optional. And uh, test basis are slightly here and there. Some of them are no, some of them are yes. But when it comes to the test level, there are also some of the recommendations are yes or no. So automatically you can re remove the uh, options which has no for the recommendation of a test level because if it is not recommended for that test level there's no point uh, applying that technique there so we have removed uh, statement testing decision testing mcdc and fault injection because they are, they are not applicable for system testing now we are remaining with boundary value analysis error guessing and back to back now here we see coming back to the test basis column we see that do we have any test basis for applying boundary value analysis? No, so this is not applicable. And if you talk about the error guessing, do we have the test basis? Maybe the experience or the you know, knowledge or probably the checklist? No, that's not available as well. And if you talk about the back-to-back -back testing, the test basis is also not available for that. So now that's the reason if you see the co combined approach of techniques like right from number three to number nine, uh, is not having a complete guidance in order to select that for applying uh, as a technique for this particular approach, uh, probably for you know system testing. So of course, this is how you consider everything put into a tabular form to analyze and understand and see that finally which technique will be most uh, relevant for you or highly recommended at that point of time to make use of in order to apply dynamic testing or derive test cases for certain levels. So that is what we just wanted to explain you in a much better way in order to meet the expectations of applying this selection. And yes, K3 will be very important because K3 will ask you to apply that. So you should know. Maybe they will be providing you a table and asking you that which technique must be selected at this point of time. So make sure that you have a pure analysis done before selecting a technique. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. We are remaining with one more tutorial on this particular series, so stay tuned for that. We have sample questions from chapter four to complete this tutorial series. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.